beautiful people. I hope you missed me last week. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video, which is a review of the brand new Tony Dixon Moi Kosht Whistle, which is basically something unique and completely different from their entire whistle collection. Now I have reviewed the Tony Dixon uh, DX005 High D Whistle. I've reviewed a selection of Tony Dixon Low Whistles. This one is completely unique in its design, in its materials. Um, it's something very different. So I'm going to show you how it looks, how it sounds, and we'll find out whether this might be the next whistle for your growing collection. Now, first things first, as you can see, this whistle comes in its own protective pouch. We have the Tony Dixon logo on a little leather patch here at the front, and it's a Velcro open and close. If I show you some close-ups of the whistle, you can see that it's a very different shape to other Tony Dixon whistles. It's made from aluminium, and we have a nicely finished mouthpiece at the top. It is tunable with a very flexible tuning slide that you can see here. The actual mouthpiece and the body is slightly shaped, so although we have a relatively straight bore, it does extend and widen a little here at the mouthpiece. We actually have a wooden block in this whistle, which is very different from the other Dixon whistles, and this helps to give it its unique sound, voice, and overall flavour. So I'll give you a little play now so you can hear how it sounds. So as you can hear from the initial sound sample, it does also have a different tone to the other Tony Dixon tin whistles. It's a little warmer, it's still quite bright, it's perhaps more traditional sounding than the plastic and polymer whistles. Um, it's kind of softer and warmer in a way, but it's a very unique voice and it's a very different sound for Tony Dixon, and I really like it. One thing I found quite impressive on this whistle was the fact that you didn't need too much of a push to hit the high notes. I was expecting with this design that you might need to blow quite hard to reach those high notes easily and cleanly, but you actually don't. It's got a good um, back pressure and it's pretty responsive and I really like that. I also enjoyed the clarity of the notes in the low and high octave, but you may have heard at one point throughout that initial playthrough of the sleeping tune, uh, which was the first tune I played, that um, the whistle did clog a little halfway through, but I was able to play through that and it sort of came out the other side. So it probably needs a decent bit of warming up, get it played in a little before you start to avoid those clogging issues. So I'm going to grab my tuner and I'll play this against the um, tuning app and we'll see how it holds up pitch wise.
So as you can see from the tuning test, we're pretty great over both octaves on this whistle. Again, you have the option to adjust the tuning on this whistle with the tuning slide. So uh, you can make minor tweaks to tie in with other instruments you're playing with or to basically accommodate uh, little changes in the atmospheric uh, conditions, the temperature, how well your whistle is warmed up, how much air pressure and speed you put through the whistle, because all of those things affect the tuning of the instrument. As you can also hear from the decibel test that I did, it's quite a loud whistle, especially as you get into the higher octave. Um, certainly when you can still play at home as a practice whistle, it's, it's not something that is reserved solely for sessions, but you'll definitely be heard in sessions if you use this whistle. It's a great all-rounder and I'm quite impressed with that. Comparing it to the Dixon DX005 that I have, the Moikrosh whistle is certainly heavier, obviously it's made of metal. As you can see at the top here, you have the uh, metal block rather than a sort of a molded polymer block. Um, you still have a tuning slide, it's in a slightly different place. The Moikosht is heavier on the top end because of this extra weight in the mouthpiece. I don't mind that, I think it helps with balance somewhat. But if you do struggle um, holding heavier whistles or slippery whistles, this might not be the perfect one for you. It is a little more difficult to get a grip on a smooth metal whistle than it is to get grip on a plastic one. As for care looking after these, plastic whistles are the easiest to look after. They don't really require much warming up or a lot of uh, aftercare and attention really. You do need a little bit of grease on the tuning slide from time to time. Again, the same applies with the metal whistle. Uh, just make sure you leave this out to dry. The wooden block in particular needs to be fully dry before you put it away. The metal itself, um, if you can keep metal dry, obviously it will last a lot longer and a lot better. Again, a little grease on the tuning slide. From time to time, we'll keep things nice and slick. You can use things like linseed oil, um, especially on brass tuning slides, you can get tuning grease you would get for trombones or trumpets, etc. And you can usually get those from music shops or online music shops as well. Now I'll give you one more rendition of the sleeping tune and I'll switch between the two Tony Dixon high D whistles that I have so you can hear how they compare sound wise and then I'll leave the decision up to you. So that is it for me today, folks, on the Tony Dixon Moikosh whistle. It is currently retailing for around £89 on the Tony Dixon website, which I have linked in the description down below. If you found this video useful, please do hit that big thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't, so you get information like this on all sorts of whistles. And do hit the bell icon as well, so you get notifications every time those videos come out here on YouTube. Don't forget, if you have whistles you would like me to review, let me know in the comments down below. You can also support my channel, which helps me buy whistles like this. You can do that on Coffee and Patreon on a monthly basis as a one-off or right here on YouTube using the super thanks button below this video and I will love you guys forever and ever and ever. If you're interested to find out more about Tony Dixon whistles I do have a selection of reviews right here on my channel please do head over and check those out if you want to find out whether these whistles are the whistles for you but until Friday when I'm back with a, another tin whistle tutorial happy whistling and I'll see you folks soon bye